morning. I'm Erin at Gold Coast Nutrition. Um, I'm going to be making a meatloaf later today. I'm collecting the ingredients to do that now. My friend Ruth's going to come over to the house later. And a lot of people have been asking, because we have in our household gluten intolerance, dairy intolerance, and a little bit of a sensitivity to eggs. So I'm going to show how you can make a good meatloaf without using milk, eggs, and bread, which is typical fillings that go in meatloaf. We're going to start with one package of ground beef and one package of ground pork. This is our freezer. This is our hunter cattle. So this, these are grass-fed all the way um, to the end. Very humanely raised delicious high in nutrient meat here. We're going to start with that. The next we're going to need some Bragg's liquid aminos for some flavoring. We're going to use a little bit of this vegetarian vegetable broth seasoning powder that makes a delicious flavoring. It makes delicious broths. You can use it for a lot of different things, but that's going to be part of the flavor base in this. And then we're going to need uh, some chia seeds. That's what we're going to use instead of eggs to help bind it together. We'll also be using carrot, celery, and onion, which you can just get at any grocery store. All right, so we'll see you bit later at the house. Bye. Thank you. Are we going? Okay. <laughs> That's all right. We have editing. Here so, goes. this is my friend Ruth. Hi, everybody. This <laughs> is my friend Erin. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to make meatloaf like we discussed earlier at the store. So, we have meat. <laughs> that would be helpful. Meatloaf. Kind of lay everything out. We have one pound of thawed ground beef, one pound of thawed ground pork. I just thawed them in a little bit of water. Okay, we have um, two small chopped carrots, three small chopped pieces of celery, and a half of a large Spanish onion. In here we have a tablespoon and a half of vegetable broth powder and about a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, three tablespoons of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to steam fry these in the pot. <laughs> I'm giggling. <laughs> Daddy can Daddy can go back and edit that out. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, you can zoom. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ruth, would you like to steam fry our vegetables? Mom, you look like a <laughs> priest of the <laughs> That was my fault. Mom, why do you want to look like a man? <laughs> Button up to her neck. We got she said, good, that's what I'm going for. I said, why do you all look like a man? We got commentary over here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm going for. Teenage I'm, I'm girl commentary. Right. We're going to come over and we're going to take a picture of Ruth dumping the vegetables in the pot. Dumping. Dumping. You can do onion. that. Half an onion. What? Spanish onion. Yep. Large. You've got large. Large. Large, large Spanish, Spanish onion. onion. Yes. Sounds good for a peanut gallery. <laughs> Three small celery sticks, two small carrots cubed. Okay, it's on medium. Okay. Sure. Now, do you oh, put water? Is that what? Yes. Is? We're gonna um, just get a little bit of water in a cup to kind of. How is it going so far? Oh, good. <laughs> good. Best cooking He's show a ever. Lot of editing. <laughs> A lot, of <laughs> a lot of editing. Well, from all my comments. 
Thank what? God for the modern era. I know, really. We're gonna All right. I don't we're know gonna, we could be in trouble. We're gonna start this on high. <laughs> and then we'll turn it down as it because it takes a little while to heat up. See, and we're also showing you that you can be of limited means and make these things. You don't have to have a big, extravagant, fancy kitchen because we don't have a big, extravagant, Neither fancy we. kitchen. As you can see, we have a 30-year-old electric stove here that's been, you know, the burners are placed a few times on it. And uh, so we're just waiting patiently for our... <laughs> on uh, bake for 350 degrees. And we're going to pause right now and then we'll come back when the veggies are done being stir fried. Okay now. Okay. The vegetables are done steaming now. So we're just going to dump them into the blender here. This is a Vitamix but you can just use a regular blender or if you don't have a blender you can use a food processor whatever you have will be fine hopefully and then it <laughs> will vegetables were cooked in water they not oil yes. to save on the fat because there's fat in the meat and that's right saves money too that's because you yep. use water to save them. okay i like the fat that's good. All right. I don't know. So Makes now everything taste better. Okay. Really? Come over now she's here. Bring it over here. Ruth is and gonna now I'm going put to the put the amino acids. The chia seeds. And the seasoning. vegeable seasoning. <laughs> is it sticking? Is it not coming out? We'll get the spoon. There you go. Oh, it's like um. It's the steam from the um, vegetables. The chicken bouillon. The kind of like the consistency of like chicken bouillon. Yeah, yeah. but it's all vegetables. But it's all vegetables, uh -huh. right? But it's still got that same consistency. This is really neat stuff. The ingredients of it: nutritional yeast, right? Okay. Carrots, okay. onions, turmeric, parsley, leek, nutmeg. Oh, Garlic, lovage, lovage, okay. uh, <laughs> lovage. Uh, celery, pepper, balm, dill, paprika, rosemary, and mustard. So it's completely vegan. It doesn't have any oils or anything like that in it, and it's delicious. All right. So now I think we're going to need to add a little more water to this. So we're just going to come over here. I'll put that on there first. <laughs> put a couple of <clears throat> put a couple of cc's of water. Four tablespoons of water. Oh, Let's tablespoons. see. Oops. All right. So I put three tablespoons of water in there because you want the chia seeds to do something to get gelatinous. You want them to They don't up. have liquid. They won't get gelatinous. Where's the lid under your under? Your my towel? lid is under my towel. That's what I was searching for. <laughs> You did a magic cr trick. You made it disappear. I did. <laughs> I'm not. I took the cap off of this because this is hot in here, and I don't want the lid to blow off. So that would be really interesting. Yeah, it would. That would actually be kind of fun. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn it on. until I'm really? done. Cause it's okay. So we're done blending that. We want to blend it until you can't see the chia seeds anymore because when they break down that's when they turn into a gel similar to an egg and that's what's going to help bind the meat all together. So we are done blending that. It looks just like a brown sort of paste and that's what we want because 
children will not be able to detect that there is a ton of vegetables added to this. We will. Yeah. No, you won't. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're picky. So we're going to put that into the meat. Do you need to move to the other side maybe, Cammie? Perhaps. Yay. No, I mean the video. <laughs> and James wanted to be in Z video. Oh, no offense. So wait, that was really loud. I'm gonna at first. I'm gonna use the spoon to kind of <coughs> stir this around. I am going to use my lovely. clean hands. <laughs> but this dish is hot, and Beautiful. I I want to mix it into the cold. <laughs> <laughs> let's eat it like this. <laughs> no, let's don't. <laughs> okay. I don't want to. <laughs> oh. I'm not gonna want to. I don't want to burn my hands, and so that's why I'm mixing it around first because it is still really warm because I just cooked it. Oh, it is. Done. Edit my hand out after. <laughs> <laughs> not right. one tiny thing of me can be in this video. All right. That's why so. we're behind the camera. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good. Ew. Slime it's like pumpkin. It's not. You sure, I'm making dessert. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> All right, I'm going oh, in. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> this is nasty too. Ruth doesn't like this part, so she's turning her head. Slimy. I, I could do that part. Oh I yeah, really close care. up. That, look at that yummy close up right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might stop watching the video once you get to this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can always edit it out. <laughs> when worse right. comes to worse. Mm, so yeah, we're like mixing. Appetizing. Yum. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to form these. And that really looks like meatloaf meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really does. It and it is. See so That's all that's in it? Yes. That's it. That's we're it. gonna form it into mini meatloaves so that it will cook oh, yeah. faster. Little meat. Rather than one yeah. very large meatloaf, we're going to make four small ones. And they'll cook a lot faster. You don't have to cook it for an hour and 20 minutes. You just <coughs> cook it for about 25, 30 minutes on 350. Um, so, where right. are you going to put them in? You just put them on the tray. I'm going to put them on like the, the tray. Yeah. All right. Now, Cammy, if you want to come up above, I'm going to put it into fourths. Just like that. Fun. And that is how I'm going to know how much to make each one. All it is is meat and seasoning and vegetables, but just mainly meat and seasonings. Yep. That's right. Well, no processed junk. Traditional Yay. meatloaf usually has bread that's been soaked in milk, and then it's got eggs for the binder. And yes, it's delicious. This looks pretty good, too. But well, not right now. When you have food <laughs> allergies, it's not Hopefully delicious. Hopefully it'll look better yeah, later. Yeah, that's <laughs> So I have the egg and gluten sensitivity, and Cammie, who is on the other end of the camera there, said <laughs> the other end. No. There. <laughs> she has dairy sensitivity. The other end of the camera, that's nice. <laughs> and the, eggs, right? the other side of the camera. Yeah, yeah the other end. The, and Cammy's a little bit sensitive to eggs, too. Not as bad as they we are. They give me acid food. reflux. Yeah, acid reflux. That's no fun. Never a good thing. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, this is a terrific way. Ooh, wait, am I in the video? Better not no, be you're not in the video. <laughs> that you can make a good meatloaf. And then you can just serve... Whatever your diet is, if you don't eat potatoes, then serve some mashed cauliflower with it. If you Ew. eat potatoes, oh, mashed flour, potatoes no. would I like be cauliflower. fantastic. <laughs> cauliflower and potatoes are good. Gluten-free <laughs> mac and cheese would be wonderful. Salad. We eat lots of salad around here. All right. So I'm going to wash up my hands and throw that in the oven. And we'll be back at the end to show you how they turned out. Yay. All right. And we're rolling. <laughs> we are. All right. So here they are. Four miniature meatloaves. 
We just checked the temperature and they are 170 degrees inside so they're ready to come out. And you can glaze them if you want or you can just eat them this way. Um, if you glaze it that's just going to add extra sugar and calories to it. but. They are delicious. Sugar and calories is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and glaze it if you want to. Okay. You can put ketchup and mustard and brown sugar and Worcestershire sauce and mix it together and put it on top to glaze it if you'd like. But these are the meat loaves and I hope you give them a try. They're delicious and healthy. And thank you. And thank you Ruth for coming over and helping. <laughs> Yay! See y'all next time! <laughs> we'll make a salad next time. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Alright, the end. <laughs>
Oh, yes, okay. towel. The, this is, I use this towel to mop my floor with. That's why it's not a, like, a nice towel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I saw your angels on the Bye, Rascal. Rascal. <laughs>